We have developed an autonomous drone platform capable of flying indoors using a single camera and an inertial measurement unit for onboard visual inertial odometry and full state control. To enable algorithmic work in a wide range of visual conditions, we have developed a system to replace the drone's onboard camera with images from a virtual environment. While the drone is in flight, photorealistic camera images are generated in real time and used in the loop for visual inertial odometry. Here we show our drone platform flying in the lab while sensing a virtual reality environment. The green drone shows the motion capture pose estimate, which is used to generate the photorealistic images shown in the upper left, while the red drone shows the visual inertial odometry state estimate computed on board from the virtual images. The real-time image generation system, which we call Flight Goggles, works much like a virtual reality system for drones. It allows us to include real vehicle dynamics and inertial measurements, while the exteroceptive measurements, in this case the camera images, are photorealistically simulated with the help of powerful GPUs. This system is capable of simulating various exteroceptive sensors, such as cameras and laser scanners, as well as generating data from sensors that may not exist yet, allowing us to rapidly prototype sensors and environments for the development of new algorithms and robotic systems. In the experiment shown here, our backstepping controller uses the visual inertial odometry state estimate to autonomously fly in an oval. In this case, for a total of 212 seconds, covering 370 meters, with an estimation error of 3.7 millimeters per meter traveled. Our visual inertial odometry algorithm has two layers. The first is a keyframe-based fixed lag smoother, which uses IMU and camera measurements to optimize for the pose of the drone, the 3D location of visual landmarks, and the bias of the IMU. The second layer is an extended common filter, which uses the smoother's estimate of 3D landmark locations as a map and performs frame rate updates against it to generate a state estimate at a high enough rate for closed loop control. The combined visual inertia odometry pipeline provides a full state estimate to our backstepping controller. This closed loop control system with visual inertia odometry in the loop has been used in all examples in this video. We again show our drone platform flying autonomously via closed loop control on its VIO estimate, this time using images from the onboard camera. All computation is performed onboard the drone's TX1 module with the image data processed on the built-in GPU. In this experiment, the drone flew autonomously for a total of 212 seconds, covering a distance of 402 meters with an estimation error of 4.7 millimeters per meter traveled. For our test platform, we have built two generations of drones, which carry cameras, IMUs, and NVIDIA Jetson CPU GPUs on a compact, agile platform. The drone on the left is the monocular drone used in experiments shown in this video, while the drone on the right is our next generation drone, which will be used for development of multi-camera algorithms in the future. We designed in-house a Jetson carrier board and a drone power board. The Jetson carrier board is 4 inches by 4 inches, housing an onboard IMU, three high-speed CSI camera connections, along with the standard USB, mini HDMI, micro SD, and Ethernet connections. We have also built a power board with four embedded electronic speed controllers and power distribution systems. The CAD models of both drones are rendered here, showing the integrated components of each drone, with NVIDIA Jetson Compute models, Jetson Carrier Boards, Power Boards, Cameras, and Mechanical Design shown together.